it's a veggie BLT pita. I totally suck at video games, but love to play them anyway. Aloha, ladies and gentlemen, Veggie Pita here with, um, not Resident Evil. <laughs> My feed's been kind of full of Resident Evil 7, right? You guys are tired of that, right? So what we've got here is some Persona 5 action going down! This part doesn't really matter, but yes, now I want some too. <laughs> um, Sega's being a little weird, or Sega slash Atlas is being a little weird about what we can do with Persona 5. Um, but they did, they did mention certain things that could be shown, especially dungeons. Um, this part maybe I'm not supposed to show, but too bad I'm showing it. You can read it if you want, and hopefully I won't get copyright strike or whatever they're gonna do. Um, but they did mention that you can show at least the first boss for now. And I figured I might be a little rebellious and just show just boss battles from this game. I don't know. It's something to break up the, the Resident Evil flow and because I'm also playing this game. <laughs> I am playing it in Japanese, so you can hear. Um, so far, I'm really liking it. I don't know if I like it as much as Persona 3. But anyway, right now, for those who don't know what's happening in Persona, the Phantom Thieves, which are the four people, well, three people in cat you see in front of you, just sent a calling card calling this abusive, both sexually and phys physically, volleyball coach teacher called him out. There he is. He just sees the card now. They're calling him out so that this will make him visualize a treasure in his in his cognitive space that they can then go and steal. Because apparently the treasure is kind of not physical until... <laughs> ooh, until uh, they think something's going to happen to it. He's gonna expel us too, by the way. That is his creepo shadowverse form, I guess? Metaverse, I think they call it in this one. But if you ever play Persona 4, it's basically their shadows. They even have like the golden eyes and everything. And that's my turtle making noises. So now we get to head off to the palace and go steal his treasure. Which is basically the boss battle. This game goes through, you go through someone's palace, they call them palaces, and then you, once you reach the treasure, you see it in its nebulous wavy form, then you go send a calling card, then you go back and do a boss battle. At least that's how it's been so far. I'm only in the second palace actually. I'm just taking a really long time because I like to grind a lot. <laughs> But, let's see. So for this one, my persona shall be Obarayan because he is strong to physical. We're just gonna pop all the way back up to the throne room area. Saving- there's uh, different save rooms you can get to which you can then just use as like fast- fast travel? Yeah. And I get to climb up a butt. Ah! Climb up a butt! Yeah! Going in the big room, I think, would be a mistake. Oh, no, maybe I am supposed to go in there. Well, either way, you got to see me climb up a butt, so that was worth it, right? All right, I guess I can just go in this time. Booyah! Look at all them booties. Yeah, he's a schizo. Um, so now let's go get the treasure, which is right up that stairway. Um, I have fought this boss before. As I said, I'm already in the second palace. So I kind of know how it goes, but that's kind of maybe more uh, fun to watch instead of watching someone flail around and be like, I don't know what I'm doing! Although, to be fair, this boss is pretty easy. To also be fair, I am playing on easy mode? Not like safety mode, but easy. See, that, that crown was just like a wavy energy before, but now that the calling card gets sent out, BAM! Crown! <laughs> she... Almost got sexually assaulted by Kamoshida, which is the bad dude. There are a lot of rumors about her. This game kind of has a lot with rumors, a lot like uh, the first Persona games, Persona 1 and 2 were. It's not catnap. Sorry, I'm choosing the responses I didn't choose before, just to see what happens. 
it doesn't really change much, sadly. Like, the things that he says, they don't change anything most of the time. That's Morgana. Morgana's a dude who has the Japanese voice actress of Pikachu, so that's awesome. I haven't even heard this game in English. I just popped it to Japanese right away because Ryuji right there is voiced by the same dude who does Ho in Kyoma from uh, Steins Gate. And we got Pikachu. I mean, like, come on. How could the English dub compete with that? And I haven't even met all the characters yet. <laughs> but, to be fair, I've heard the English is pretty good, so there's that. Look at them noises, or I guess listen to them noises. Oh, look, you get to see a bond deepening. So this is all not a boss battle yet so far, but you will see the boss battle, and it probably won't last that long because it wasn't that hard of a fight. I think. <laughs> we'll find out, I guess, how good my memory is since that was probably about 10 hours ago. Whoa! Yeah, he is a volleyball. He was an Olympic medalist volleyball player, BT Dubs. And now he's in a pink speedo with gross hairy legs. And yes, that is the same character that I have with me, only it's his crazy metaverse. Yeah. Like she just explained. Boss battle! You'll get caught up in the boss battle! I was gonna say, Atlas said we could show this boss battle on the YouTubes or streamings or whatever. So I'm gonna do it. And then I'm gonna hope by the time I actually show the other bosses, they'll kind of forget that they care about streaming and YouTube rights. Also, it's not like I make money off of my videos. I don't even monetize. So, come on. Throw me a bone, Atlas. Throw me a bone. Look at all the story I'm showing you. Oh, here we go. This is very Persona 4-esque when- <laughs> except instead of a no, don't say it when they try to deny their shadow selves, they just transform. That did get kind of boring after a while in Persona 4. They're just like- everyone's just like, oh come on, don't say it, you're gonna transform into a boss. Yeah, he's pretty gross, so let's finish this. Yeah, again, that dialogue changed nothing! I don't even know why they give you the choice. So, here's Grosso Kamoshida with his tongue licky action and his, like, helmeted slaves. Well, they're little, like, teddy bears or something. Alright. So, a good, a good thing to do in any Persona game is buffs. Persona Shin Megami Tensei games, buffs actually matter. So right now I made it so his accuracy is down. And he's going to... Eh, not do any of that. He's just gonna attack. I'm pretty sure this guy is uh, strong against physical. So it's best to attack him with magic. And, but she has this one. So she's gonna, that was another buff. It lowers his attack. So right now his accuracy is down and his attack is down. So see, that's why he missed, which makes it really nice because he gets two attacks in a row. So buffs are great to do. And this one will decrease his defense. Main character is kind of on buff mode right now and everybody else can just attack. Um, his main character has access to more buffs. So, just makes sense. And you can actually attack this turn with fire! Right now, the only character I don't have an element for is Ice at this point in the game. Um, but he's the next character you get. Fancy that. Um, right now, the guy I've got is strong. Here, I'll show you. 
that's not the one. I, I'm equipped with Obarion, Obarion, however you pronounce it. Strong against physical, weak against lightning, but that's fine. He doesn't have any actual spells to cast, which is a little bit of a eh. So I'll try a I'll try a lucky punch. We'll see. It didn't do critical, but 81 damage ain't bad. Makes me wonder if you should do something too. Do it! Headbutt! 207! Wow! Screw the lightning. You can still do this. I didn't realize he was that effective. Cool. Well then. This is even going faster than the last one because once something happens... Oh, this is, this is fun. There you go. Oh, that's right. He heals himself back up. Never mind. It's not going faster than the last one. <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. So now stuff happens. This is kind of a event boss in a way. All right, he is still lowered, so we're just gonna lucky punch him again. Poof. Actually, can I? Oh, I know what I did wrong. We're cool. You can change targets now. Bam, that is what you need to destroy. Because otherwise he can just keep eating from it and healing. Which, not great. Not great. Go for it! And I think next turn I'm going to have to rebuff again. But that's okay. Because that's how you play the game, yo. Yeah, everything's reverted. Ah! That's okay. You still missed. Ha 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 ha. Now there's like a rando body. Like, I don't even know where that came from. It's kind of amusing. A little Barbie doll. She goes right back in. <laughs> All right, you are going to do that again. But we're not gonna waste uh, her other people's turns on buffing anymore. Yeah, no, we don't need to. Go! I know those moves use hit points, but sometimes it's worth it because like one Medea or whatever the group heal. Mm, do I buff or do I just attack? Screw it! I got pretty good health. Oh, now his defense is high though, so now I'm gonna revert that. Mmm, lustful staring, wasting a turn. I'm okay with this. Decreased defense. It's supposed to get me an event sometime soon. Is it only after I destroy this thing? I swear. It should happen soon. It should happen really soon. Like now. Haha. -ha, success. That was from when he won the national. AKA volleyball. You can hold up. Hold up is the all out attack. So what? Only this is a much more special all-out attack. Let's see how cool it is! Except it won't kill him, unfortunately. BAM! They, uh, if they actually kill an enemy, the all-out attacks look really cool. Like, they have an end splash screen. I like it. This game is just, like chock full of style okay here we go the special event in certain battles you can do stuff um i like how they like show you ryuji so i used him last time so i'm gonna use him again so let's go for the crown and i'm gonna send ryuji to go get it um since he stares at Anne, i have surmised that sending Anne is probably a bad choice you could send Morgana, too. But I'm gonna send Ryuji. Even though he did kick-ass damage. But Morgana's the only one I have that has heal. Right now. So. Better safe than sorry. So. Let's do a lucky punch. And bam. Uh, I think Morgana could probably take one more hit. And then heal. Because, 
like this is gonna get really easy as soon as like I think it's like three turns pass or something because basically Ryuji has to scramble up while Kamoshida's distracted climb up a boobs get stuck like that for no good reason oh no attack reverted when did I do his attack I guess I did have a uh... never mind uh oh Okay, we will guard. Never heard- when the game tells you to guard, you don't fuck around and you guard. Cause then he does this. And you only take like half damage or some shit. Oh, pfft, that was nothing. But it could have been way worse if- if I hadn't, um, blocked, so. We're gonna do that again. I'm still okay, but I'm gonna just gonna have him do a media anyway. Just because I really like to be slightly more healed in my games. And then she... Eh, he'll be fine. Fire! Golden! See, you missed. Ha ha! I forget what this does. Does it heal him? Eating the Barbie doll for a second and spitting her back out? <laughs> No, oh, it attacks up. Okay, well I can attack down, but it's not that one, so we'll punch you, and we will Garu you, and then we will not take a turn. Whoops! Ugh. Hurry up and climb, Ryuji. There you go. And gets her turn. Mm, his attack is up. And I know stuff stuff's gonna get real easy real soon, but I'd rather not take a chance. I'm a very defensive player. Like, it's crazy. Which is really hard in these kind of games. Sometimes you gotta take a chance. Or sometimes you run out of SP. Like, I got through the first dungeon in one go, one night, because I'm trying to follow the guide to do max confidence in one playthrough. Oh boy, that rough! Was that rough? That first dungeon, you don't have a way to replenish your SP except for like a couple of cans of soda? Whew. Here we go. Good job, Ryuji! Now he's very sad. Look how sad he is. Look, look how sad! I almost feel bad for wrecking his shit up. Oh, he seems dejected. He still cuts me up, but so dejected. Now, did 80 before, now it does 237. Let's see what his headbutt does. He did 200, 595! See, this is why, like, this battle is just shit. If you send anybody to go knock his crown off, like, you can win. Look at that, one turn, it just did, like, a couple thousand damage is redonk. Maybe not a couple thousand. Either way, he did. There you go. That is the end of the boss battle. And the rest is more story, which I'm afraid to show you because I'm afraid that Atlas might, like, sue me or something. Um, so that's the Kamoshida boss. I think I'll probably try and sneak around Atlas's things and uh, show off some of the other boss fights. Just so you can see how cool this game is. Because each boss fight will probably have like a different flow to it. But anyway, that was Persona 5. That was the Kamoshida battle. And uh, maybe I'll see you next Persona boss.